Welcome to Radio 64. Jumping and the place is pumping. Fight clubs in full effect. We survived the bloodshed with an R you can. One blow to the head. Not you out. Video Game Music Remix Radio. I'm your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. Visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. You can share your thoughts on this episode and request music by following the show on Facebook or Twitter at Radio64Pod. Please rate, subscribe, and share the show on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts. We opened this special episode of Radio 64 with Ryu Next Generation RNG by the JD Project from OCRemix.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior. Uh, This is a special Street Fighter II episode of Radio 64. All these tracks are coming from Street Fighter II, but yes, that track, Ryu Next Generation RNG, that is that is a pumping that is a pumping song. That is so much fun. The 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 vocals in there, the lyrics, they I, I love them. That chorus, I feel it in my bones. I wanted all my fans to know just why I'm number one with blood over my face. I'm always in complete control <laughs> to survive the next generation. The JD Project they did uh, the Ken song from Overclocked Remix, and we played that in an episode uh, a while ago. This this came after that one. I think the Ken song is a little bit stronger in that. 
the focus is a lot more tongue in cheek. This one, I feel like, is a little bit more the straight man, which I think makes sense considering Ryu and Ken. You usually see Ryu in the straight man role, and Ken is kind of like the weekend warrior. Ripping guitar in there. I like JD Projekt's vocals. Uh, they're a bit light for this kind of song, but I think that kind of adds to the campiness of it. Obviously, the Ryu Next Generation is our Ryu track. We're going to have a track for every world warrior of Street Fighter 2 minus the new challengers. Which means up next is our Dulcim, uh, or Dulcim, I think I called him Dulcim as, as a kid, uh, our, our stretchy fighter from India. Uh, a character I like to play a lot as as a kid that now I don't think I can pick up at all. This track is, is a high energy uh, electronic piece playing on a lot of Eastern instrumentation with some fun vocal samples in there. Uh, a, fun, a fun take on the Dalsum theme. So this is Spicy Curry by DJ Pretzel from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. was Spicy Curry by DJ Pretzel from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. Uh, again, our Dulcim track. Uh, those elephants in the background are so loud in the arcade version. I don't think I really picked up on it on the Super Nintendo, but on the arcade version, those elephants uh, on Dulcim's stage are so obnoxious. I think it's part of Dulcim's strategy to deafen his opponent with those elephant screams in the background. Holy cow. Uh, kind of got the short change in the Street Fighter movie, but... Uh, depending on your point of view, everyone got shortchanged in that movie. Uh, our next up is Chun Li's track. Chun Li with the the I, I was talking about Dulcine being able to stretch his legs. Chun Li's legs are are no joking matter. They are registered weapons. They they're terrifying. When I when I would play Street Fighter Two on the Super Nintendo, uh, more often than not, if I was playing against a human, it was probably my mom, and she played as Chun Li, and she murdered me. You know what? I was I was a small child playing Street Fighter Two. My mom showed no mercy and uh, laughed at me. And I think I still got a lot of uh, issues that I'm dealing with uh, with that. Uh, I like this track we're about to play, this remix. It's very funky. Uh, there's some flute in there and it just has this really kind of funky street sound 
that, that I dig. So this is Chun-Li's theme, Funky Flute Mix, by Milo7 from OCRX.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior. That was Chun-Li's theme, Funky Flute Mix, by Milo7 from OCRMix.org from the game Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. When I play Street Fighter now with my wife, she also likes to play as Chun-Li, and she's she's a pure butt masher, but she also destroys me with Chun-Li. I, I guess I'm just going to live the rest of my life always losing to Chun-Li. All right, one of my... One of my favorite tracks from Street Fighter 2 is Guile's theme uh, because it has that kind of over-the-top America, yeah, kind of vibe to it. And recently I've learned how to do charge moves in Street Fighter 2. This is the thing. I've been playing Street Fighter 2 since I was a small child. So we're, we're talking about like maybe 27 years of me playing Street Fighter 2 and I only just recently learned how to do charge moves. Street Fighter in general, is one of the series I probably love the most and am the worst at. Uh, I have fun playing it, but I am just terrible. It, it, it's ridiculous how much I like the characters and the world and the games and the music, and I am just garbage at playing the game. But you know what? You never start learning. 34 years old, I've learned, I've learned new tactics of Street Fighter 2. So yes, this is Guile's theme. This is called Sonic Boom American Mix by Nabil Ansari from OCU Remix 
from the game Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. mix uh, by Nabil Ansari from ocrmix.org from the game Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. A few things about this track. One, it comes from the album Apex 2014, a new challenger. Uh, the album that remixers will do in, in honor and for the Apex fighting tournament. So this, this track was on that in 2014 and represented the guile there. Also, Nabil and Nasari, we've been playing a few of their tracks recently because they've been teaming up with Rebecca E. Tripp, uh, probably one of OCR's most prolific uh, remixers at the moment. And Nabil Ansari has been working on some of the tracks with her. Also, as a kid, it was weird because I never thought of Guile as a lead character. I just thought he was this crazy-haired, kind of cool, G.I. Joe-looking figure. The Street Fighter movie made him the hero and the main character. I remember as a kid going like, is he? And so I would try to play as Guile in the games. I'm like, I guess I need to play Guile more. Uh, luckily, I, as, as I got older, I realized that wasn't the case, and I, I could play as the other characters again. So I mentioned that I played a lot of Dulcim as a child. I also played a lot of Blanca, or Blanca. I think I, I called him Blanca a lot as a kid. I think he's... Uh, 
referred to as Blanca. I played a lot of Blanca as a kid because he was just this cool green monster who I knew how to do the electric move with the, the crouch and do the electric and he had that crazy head biting attack. It, it was ridiculous. This track is Blanca's Brazil theme. It's a very cool, mellow, very acoustic, a chill, a chill track, uh, going through a, a Latin jazz sound here. And I remember Blanca's theme was always kind of cool. This is Blanca in Brazil by Alan G15 from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. was Blanca in Brazil by Alan G15 from OC Remix from the game Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. You know, I haven't even mentioned her name, uh, Yoko Shinomura. I mean, so many of her tracks from Street Fighter 2 not only match the character, but like match the location. They, they have so much influence and roots in the location it is. I mean, it, it's not for nothing that you can make a, a Guile remix sound so much like a G.I. Joe commercial. Like, it's there in the source and it's the same thing with like Ryu having this very uh, heroic sound Chun-Li having this kind of playful cool uh, melody Yoko Shinomura's soundtrack for Street Fighter 2 is is it's like it's like Mega Man 2 in that it's one of those pieces of music that every track is perfect for its placement I, I don't know how one person can just uh, do so many of those amazing amazing songs and I mean Street Fighter 2 is a classic and Capcom wisely continues to use those tracks in games, e even when they remix them, they still go back to the sources a lot of the time, which is very smart when you have something like Street Fighter II's soundtrack. Uh, Alright, up next is an old remix. This remix comes from 2000, and I think it was one of the first remixes I kind I encountered uh, while looking for Street Fighter II tracks. It's remixing E-Honda's theme, our, our sumo wrestler, who I, I enjoyed playing because all I had to do was press B really fast, and he would do his... Uh, his quick punch move, his his quick chop. Uh, and, and this is interesting. I, I think partly because of how old this remix is, it's 20 years old at this point, but it has this 
kind of lo-fi electronic sound, but it's also kind of playing on the, the Koto sound in uh, any Honda stage. This is Hey Mr. Honda by McFaff from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter II, The World Warrior. was Hey Mr. Honda by McVaff from OCRMix.org from the game Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior, the Honda's stage. Uh, up next is a Zangief track. Um, you know, I know M. Bison, I think I've mentioned this before on the show, I know M. Bison is the big bad of the Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, or the Street Fighter universe, but... As a kid, Zangief scared me. Zangief was the the big bad in a lot of ways. He was this big, hulking, muscular, basically naked man who was covered in these red marks that I didn't know if they were muscly sinew or if it was like blood of his enemies. It, he and he was he was tough. You couldn't really jump over him that easy. He was a scary guy. And to this day, when I'm playing Street Fighter Two, I'm I'm loath to go against him because he just he continues to kind of uh, terrify me in a lot of ways. And he's he's not a he's not a lightweight. He, he's a tough guy. Our our friend from the USSR. Uh, this track it's this crazy space disco take on the Zangief USSR sound with 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 some vocals in there, but the synth is just so 80s and so cosmic. If Zangief is in space now, I don't, I don't want to sign up because I don't want to go into a world where Zangief is waiting for me on the moon to pile drive me into moon dust. Uh, this track is called Sovitsky Cosmonaut or Soviet Cosmonaut by Sir Nuts from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior.
That was Soviet Cosmonaut by Sir Knotts from OC Remix dot or from the game Street Fighter II: The World Warrior. That track is is just so cool. And you know what? I said all those things about me being afraid of Zangief. I've always liked his music though. He's always had such a cool a cool track to go with him. Another rock and piece. And coming from another American fighter here, Ken. Uh, this this Ken track is is one of the most rocking pieces on this episode you know we played that that guile theme earlier but it had a lot of piano in there creating this really cool uh rocking acoustic sound there, there's no acoustic in here Th this is a hard rock and aggressive piece with sixto sounds doing some of his patent um, amazing guitar soloing at the end the outro to this is just so much fun this is called made in usa by sixto sounds from oc Rinx's album blood on the asphalt the Street Fighter 2 remix album from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter 2.
That was Made in USA by Sixto Sounds from OC Remix's album, Blood on the Asphalt, a Super Street Fighter 2 tribute album from the game Street Fighter 2. And yes, that's actually, I'm surprised uh, with myself that this is the first track that we've played from Overclocked Remix's album. They did this a, a while ago. The album came out around 2006, a track for every fighter, including the new challengers, uh, the, the four bosses, and a few of the characters' endings. But yes, Ken's theme, uh, one of the greats, one of the one of the coolest, uh, one of the best to rock out to. The, those are the world warriors. Those are our heroes. I've also picked the four tracks for our four boss characters. That that's twelve. That's twelve songs. Normally, I keep it to ten songs and keep it under an hour. Uh, I'm still trying to keep it under an hour, but I, I've I've upped it to twelve songs so we can get the next four boss characters from Street Fighter 2 in there. That does mean I had to leave out T-Hawk, Fei Long, Cammy, and DJ, and I'm, I'm sad by that. They're, as a completist, I feel uh, sad by that, but I couldn't fit in 16 songs on this, so I'm sorry. But that means we're over to Belrog. May or may not look like Mike Tyson, depending on which lawyer is speaking at the time. This one is actually coming from Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, so not the World Warrior anymore, but Turbo from the 1994 arcade game. But yeah, this one has the, has a very jazz lounge sound, a very cool, very, very smooth track. It's got some saxophone in there. Love a good saxophone in these remixes. Belrog has that Las Vegas stage with the gold nugget behind him. It feels like the red carpet has been put out for him. This is Sexy Trunks by Neostorm from ocremix.org from the game Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. <laughs>
That was Sexy Trunks by Neil Storm from OCRemakes.org from the game Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I have to tell you, when you're playing Street Fighter 2 and you're fighting all the characters in there with all their unique fighting styles, and some of them have these supernatural moves or can create electricity out of their bodies, they can fly across their screen with their kicks, there is something a little mundane about just fighting a boxer uh, in front of Las Vegas. But at the same time, Belrog has wiped the floor with my character's face before. And now, everybody, the most beautiful warrior to ever fight on the streets. Got a track from uh, from Vega's stage. The man who fights simply to have a gorgeous time. Nothing but narcissism coming from Vega. But at the same time, he was just so cool. That, that, that mask, those claws, he was so fast. He'd be all over the place jumping on the fence above you. He was scary. He was tough. I, this, this is usually where my, my street fight ended. Yeah, th this track, it, it's a kind of an orchestral take on it with a lot of, uh, with some electric guitar and a lot of synth in there. It's this really interesting mix. Uh, and at the same time, it has a, a kind of a heroic sound, a lot of energy in there, a lot of, uh, self-confidence, just like the man himself. This is the Masked Man by Nutritious from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior.
That was The Masked Man by Nutritious from OCRemix.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior. Vega's a character that I remember thinking was very cool in the Street Fighter movie. Uh, and Ron rewatches, he's still fine. The fight between Vega, Sagat, and Ryu and Ken is still kind of cool. Uh, if, you, if you're going to take anything from that movie. I haven't seen The Legend of Chun-Li yet. Uh, I'm planning on watching it soon, but yeah, I don't know how Vega comes out of that. I think he's played by one of the Black Eyed Peas, so. Now listen, if I could get past Vega, if on the off chance I could get past Vega, the buck stopped here, because Sagat would murder me. I didn't know what it was, because he's so unassuming in a lot of ways compared to someone like Vega, or, or like the monster character like Blanca. There's Sagat just with his eye patch, just standing tall. He was a beast. And, and this track, I tell you what, it does not <laughs> translate the, the fear and destruction that Sagat would lay upon me. It, it's this funky jazz piece with some really jazzy piano in there. It's coming from the Heroes and Villains album. They chose uh, Ryu as the hero from Street Fighter 2 for this album, and they chose Sagat as his villain, which I think was a good call. And this is by a couple of people who, who make up the, the group bad dudes as well. Just has this smooth vacation-y sound, totally devoid of of the blood of, of Street Fighter. This is Coconut Milk by Joshua Morse, Pasuyan, Stacy Morse from OCRemix.org from the game Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior. <laughs>
was Coconut Milk by Joshua Morse, Pasu Yan, Stacy Morse from OCRMix.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior, and the album Heroes vs. Villains, which is one of my favorite Overclocked Remix albums. That one is a lot of fun, a lot of energy in that one. It's, it's just that, that whole album is such a good time. Here we go. The boss, the big man himself, M. Bison, coming up. You're not, you're not a world warrior unless you defeat M. Bison. And uh, this track kind of has a James Bond sound to it. Th this big foreboding boss music here. It it's got some light moments. It's got some kind of. Uh, it's got some kind of cool uh, electronic moments. This track is just. It's relentless. It's a. It's not too bombastic, but there is just something unrelenting about the the main tune here being played. So this is tribute to the master by Malkos from OCRX.org's album Street Fighter II: Blood on the Asphalt.
Tribute to the Master by Malcos from the album Super Street Fighter 2 Blood on the Asphalt from the game Street Fighter 2. All right, we've done it. That is all that is the 12 tracks of the original 12 Fighters of Street Fighter 2. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, uh, this walk down the Street Fighter memory lane. Uh, apologies to the new challengers once again. Uh, but thank you for listening to Radio 64 Video Game Music Remix Radio. I have been your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. Visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. Share your thoughts on this episode and request music by following the show on Facebook or Twitter at Radio64Pod. Please rate, subscribe, and share this show on Apple, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever you get your podcasts. And remember, victory means nothing. The fight is everything. Thank you for listening.